Word doesn't limit you to a single header and footer per document. You can also specify that different headers and footers be used for odd, even, and first pages in your document. In this video, I'll show you how to control this and how to suppress headers and footers for some of your pages. If you don't already have a firm grasp on how to add headers and footers to your documents, you'll probably want to jump out of this video and take a look at the one where I go over those basics. I'll provide a link to that video in the upper right corner. Notice that I have a nice long document on the screen. This document includes a footer. If we scroll down, we can see that footer. It's already in here. The footer includes the title of my document, along with a page number. This organization of information looks great on the screen, and it will look great if I print out my document. If I print my document double-sided, however, it won't look as great. In that case, this will look fine on odd-numbered pages, but not so great on the even-numbered pages. It would look better for the page number to be at the left side of the line, and the title to be at the right side, when we're working with even-numbered pages. Fortunately, Word allows you to set up different headers and footers depending on whether the page is even-numbered or odd-numbered. All I need to do is just double-click in my header or footer area. Word opens a footer and displays the header and footer tab of the ribbon. Now, the controls that I want to pay attention to are in this area, right here. Notice that there is a control for different odd and even pages. When I select this option, Word makes some changes in what is displayed on the screen. You can see that what it did at the bottom is it changed the note that's right by that footer. It now says odd page footer. My existing footer, the one that I previously created, now shows as the odd page footer. If I scroll down to the bottom of an even-numbered page, you can see that there is no footer. At this point, I can just go ahead and create the footer that I want to appear on my even pages. Now I've created my even page footer. And if I scroll back up, you can see that on the odd pages, it looks just like I had it created before, but on the even-numbered pages, it looks just like this. And we can continue to scroll down through the document, and you can see that each odd page footer is different than every even page footer. Now, you may have noticed that there is another helpful control here on the header and footer tab of the ribbon. In publishing, it's often desirable to have a header or footer that is different on the first page of a document. If you go ahead and you click on this control, then we'll see some additional changes on the screen. Our odd and even page footers have not been changed at all, but we can go back up to the first page of our document, and we can see that on this first page, there's a blank area here where we can specify the footer that we want to appear only on the first page of the document. If I want to turn off that first page footer, then all I have to do is click on that control and we're back to just the odd and the even pages for our footers within this document. Now, when I'm all done, I can go ahead and close the header and footer area and I'm all set. When I print my document, the footer will reflect exactly what I want for both odd and even numbered pages. This will be especially helpful if I decide to print my document double-sided. So far, we've been looking at how to change headers and footers to match your page layout needs. And that's great, but sometimes you may have a need to suppress a header or footer on a particular page or range of pages. Now, Word makes this very easy to do, provided you are working with sections in your document. I discussed sections and how to create new sections in a different video that I'll link to in the upper right corner. For now though, I want to divide this particular document into sections. So I'm going to scroll down here a little ways and let's say I want to start a brand new section right here at the start of chapter two. 
So what I'm gonna do is go down here. I'm going to go to layout, breaks, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a, a section break in here. And I'll just call it a continuous break. But I'm gonna go down a few more pages and we'll take this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and put in a next page section break for that one. Now we have our document divided into three separate sections. I've clicked within the second section of this document here. And this is where the real power and flexibility of headers and footers is evident because Word allows you to define different headers and footers for every section in your document. By default, the headers and footers are all the same in, in each section of the document. You know that we already have footers that are defined for this document, and we're in section two here, so this footer is actually in section two of this document. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double click on this footer, and if I go ahead and I make changes in this footer, those changes will be reflected in the footers for the other sections of this document. What I want though, is a different footer in this section. Well, that's where this setting right up here comes in handy. Notice if I hover over this, it says link to previous. This setting controls whether this particular footer is linked to the footer in the previous section. If it is selected, then the changes in this section are reflected in the previous section and vice versa. Because I want this section of the document to not have a footer, I need to turn off this linkage before making changes. And I do that by just clicking on that control right there. With that linkage turned off, I can now delete the footer. And I'll go ahead and get rid of it right there. And if I go back to the previous section of the document, you can see once we get there, that there's a footer there and there's a footer there. We haven't affected the footer at all in section one of the document. All we've done is affected that odd page footer in section two of the document. But let me go forward to the next section of the document. You remember that that's right after the start of chapter three down here. And the odd page footer here shows as empty as well. And the reason for that is because again, this linkage is right up here. The link to previous is active and therefore when we deleted the odd page footer from section two, that change was also reflected in section three because section three was linked to section two. To prevent the deletion of the odd page footer in section three, I could have broken this linkage before I actually deleted the footer in section two. So there you have it. How to create different headers and footers for odd pages, even pages, first pages, and how to suppress headers and footers for various sections of your document. Word is extremely flexible when it comes to headers and footers, and this flexibility is controlled by these three controls on the header and footer tab of the ribbon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it provides you with ideas for making your own documents more professional looking. Remember to click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell if you want to be notified when new videos are added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today.